All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. Welcome on in, guys. Okay, so this week's dungeon, guys, significantly easier than last week's dungeon. Can oh, my gosh. That was a little laggy. Hold on. There we go. Um, it's called the Illusion Marsh. Is this real? It's a medium difficulty dungeon. Uh, so... It's supposed to be a swamp dungeon. I don't know why it looks like ice. Maybe I have the wrong one. No. Nope. I don't know why it's an ice picture with a swamp dungeon. Anyways, uh, dungeon loot this week is the tech kibble processor, the tech chest piece, the compound bow, and the Rex tech saddle. So, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and grab my stamina buff. It's getting late in the day. There is a Megalosaurus room, so if you can get to it while it's daytime, that's ideal. <laughs> hello, Janus. Football time. Crazy. Hello. Welcome, everybody. All right. This is good because it'll, it'll get light while I'm in there. All right. Yep, Swamp Dungeon. I don't know why they... Whatever. Not my problem. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna go this way first, guys. Because there is a room pretty much immediately. Uh, this is a Spino and a Metrodon Minion. So a Juggernaut Spino. Which should not be hard to miss. Oh yeah, he's pretty big. Big Spino. He's very pretty, though. And then we also have all the little Dimetrodon minions. Ow. Okay, where's the other one? What am I missing? Ah. Beautiful. Ah, um, so much easier than last week already. <laughs> Scott, we are off to a great morning. Thank you for asking. It has been really good so far. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is run up this way. Nope. This way? Nope. This way. Yes. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, okay, I'm going to grab this loot crate because it's here. Now, there is a wall trap on the uh, path right above me. Um, so I don't want to go on that route to get to the next event room. I'm actually going to go through different ones. Um, plus, I'm going to go through an optional room here real quick. Because uh, there's a premium loot crate, and I like premium loot crates. Also, a water room. Gotta send it flak leggings, but I bet you they aren't. Yep. They're not that great. Okay. And I don't believe there's anything bad here. Otter room. It's a sad, sad room, but it's guarding a premium crate. Uh, what damage is my shotgun? I believe it's 231? Something like that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot it was just one massively over level leveled otter. I can't talk. It's too early today, guys. I had no I I could not remember this dungeon to save my life. Alright. I hate to shoot him, but, like... I do a lot more damage with my shotgun when I hit him. There we go. It's just one otter with like 20,000 health. 
Uh, you can take him and revive him, though, if you want him. So, not a bad week. Do, do, do. Uh, and there's definitely ways to do that without getting him, uh, without getting hit as many times as I did. Do, do, do. I don't even think it matters that much. They're not that strong. Okay. So over here. Hey, Karuku. I think that's the first, like, actual creature I've seen. Grab this. A broth of enlightenment. Not that great. And then let's grab this. Sabertooth rug. There we go. That's what it's about. All the premiums that I never use. Uh, does the otter have an implant? Yes, it did. Cookie, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Oh, I made it. Eh, first time catching up to you live. Aw. Aziel, thank you so much for coming on in. Super happy to have you here. Love it when people can make it to the live streams. Poison. Oh, Lystro. I see. Okay. So, let's see. There's one more loot crate I can get before I go to the next room, and I think I'm going to do that. It's a bit of a runaway, but why not? Yeah, this way? No. This way. Yes. I get very easily confused. Eh. Almost there. Legend Gamer, hello. Mastercraft Riot Shield. Hmm, okay. What? How did that hit me? I was way out of the range. Alright, whatever. Whatever. That's the game for you. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. Excellent. Um, so, this is an event room. Uh, this should be an RG and Onic half armor room. So I'm a little nervous about the uh, Onik, actually. <laughs> ah! All right, give myself a little space. At least they're not mate boosted. If you like your shiny bats, this is a good week for it. Ah. Ah, mate boosted. No. Oh, that ruins everything. Oh my gosh. Get out of my way. Mate boosted and way too close together. There we go. That's one. One. Ow. <laughs> All right, just the onic. Well, the onic's dead. Good lord. Ugh, I keep getting stuck on the archies. I don't like it. They're too fluffy. Um, do I play Ark on PC? 
Yes, yes I do. Quite a bit. <sighs> there we go. Um, hello from a Nubster. Nubster, how's it going? Welcome on in. Alright, that's the, uh, that's that, finally. Let's go ahead and grab this loot crate. Ascendant flat gauntlets. They keep teasing me with these ascendant things, and they never are. <sighs> Alright. Garbage, as expected. All right, let's run over here. Ow. Okay, so there is a water room here. Um, and then we've got a big old loot run. Huge loot run. Perfect. Diplos, I love them. Such goofy little critters. Alright, we'll grab that. We'll grab this. Alright, black pearls. Let's go down this way. Yes, perfect. Another water room. I'm kind of loving how many water rooms I'm getting. Ah, I guess it is medium difficulty. All right, so two more loot crates on this run and then we get to do the top one. There we go. Uh, you've never played Ark Mobile before. It's good. I love this game. It is actually a very good very well developed game for the most part um especially the single player the only major complaint i have about single player is going to be um the breed times they're not adjustable and some of the creatures take like 24 in-game hours just to cool down from a breed which is insane like it takes way too long that's something i wish that they would uh make a little bit more a little bit more friendly to people playing single player, because you can't really do any breeding at all. But otherwise, otherwise it's a very good game experience. And it's actually kind of okay, because you don't actually really need to breed your creatures. You actually don't even really need creatures. <laughs> Best armor for going in dungeons, medium difficulty, flak. Flak is the best armor here, hands down. This is the water room, yeah? I'm just going to keep filling my water up every time I see one. Um, Yeah, flak armor is cheap, it's strong, it's one of the easiest to get, it's one of the easiest to make. Highly recommend flak armor for dungeons. Some people really like their tech. Uh, but I just don't see the need for tech. It's such a waste of element. Because if you die, like, that's it. You lose it. If you lose flak, it's like no big deal. You have six more sets. And tech armor isn't actually all that much better. Do, do, do. Um, Sandu says mass breeding exists for that reason. What, for the, the single-player breeding cooldowns? It doesn't help, because the game has to be running while you're breeding. Um, and it really... The issue is that it takes so, so long. So, like, even getting a breeding started is a real pain. So if you're trying to actually breed for stats, like, it's going to take you forever. Your phone's going to have to be on all the time. Servers keep running while you're offline. They didn't adjust for that in single-player. And it's a little frustrating because the game does pause. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to grab this loot crate over here that I missed first. Yeah, this one. Do, do, do. Have I gotten the tech premium chest yet? Nope. 
Not yet. That's at the end of the dungeon. Journeyman Ghillie Mask. Best creature to bring in the hard ice cave. Probably a wolf. Uh, or a spider. I actually prefer spiders because, um, or arthropleros really, because then you don't have to fight anything at all. You kind of just walk on through and everything ignores you. Um, one of the cool bugs about cave tame creatures. Uh, if you want to fight your way through, definitely like a wolf with an ascendant helmet. Um, I've also done that cave on foot with grapples and parachutes. So it's possible to do a whole thing without a creature at all. Just putting that out there. Uh, I think that's the facility key. Let's grab this guy. Water. Excellent. All right, so facility key is here. Yay. And I'm hungry. Perfect timing. All right, so now we have to do the long run back to the starting area, but that is everything on this first half of the dungeon. Not too bad. It's very easy. Um, it's a medium difficulty dungeon. I'd agree with that. I'd say it's almost, if it weren't for the fact that there are a couple of traps at the end, I would say it's almost, um, an easy difficulty dungeon. It's very close. Yeah, I'm still going the right way. Okay. Hard to know. Eh. Ah. Alrighty, so we go this way. Water room. Avoid the leeches. Ah. Okay, this way. All right, I'm actually going to go down and around because I don't want to do a wall trap if I don't have to. I know there's a quote-unquote faster way to get here, but there's a wall trap, so not really. Um, is imprinting that important? Yes, imprinting gives a huge bonus to pretty much all of your creature's most important stats. Health, melee, um, speed... And then on top of that, if you are the one that imprinted them and you're riding them, they actually get uh, a 30% bonus on top of that when you're riding them and they're 100% imprinted. So it's it increases their base stats and then it gives you a bonus on top of that. It's very good to have an imprint. Particularly on a creature like a griffin, the imprint bonus is actually a little bit bigger than it is for most creatures. Which is one of the reasons to breed griffins, because they do take forever, but the imprinted ones are really good. Um, I uh, considered a madman for fighting manticore with a bunch of 20, 20 and 20 mantises. Nice. You know, honestly, maybe a madman, but a fun one. All right, guys, so uh, we went through the facility door. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, never mind. This is not an event room. The next one is. I'm very silly. Hi, Bob. Um, okay. This is an event room. What time of day is it, actually? I'm a little curious. 13.25. Okay, so we should be fine. Turbo Megalos, but they should be sleepy. Yeah, look at him curl up immediately. He's so tired. Look at how cute he is. It's 
Sleepy babies. I like doing these rooms during the day. Fixes a lot of issues. Also, you know, Megalos are adorable. Oh, two. Okay. I'll do these first. Ah, the other one didn't even wake up. This is great. Ah. Pump action or a normal shotgun? I prefer the pump action. Some people prefer the normal because it gives you um, a much faster reload. But you also only get two shots, so I find it kind of balances out. <laughs> I don't know where he thought he was going. That was excellent. Dead, 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 dead. Alive. All right, where's the last one? Go all the way down there. Is that what I see? Way down there. Yes, it is. All the way down here. Okay. Alright, they all spawn down there, I guess. This would be like the worst way to wake up from a nap. Ow! Okay. So that's that room. <laughs> Arkman, thank you for the sub. Super appreciate it. Welcome on in. All right, so that, let's go this way. This is a very long room. Can you do a mobile series surviving mostly in the water and building underwater cave base? Um, I could, that is one I have not done. I still kind of want to finish like all of the series that I started, the No Ingrams and the Foot Soldier and ugh. It's just tough. Uh, having a having a job sucks. <laughs> I want to be a full time YouTuber. All right, let's come down here. How did I collect enough of polymer for your shotgun? Uh, it took a while, but I ground a lot on this game, like a lot. And I do a little bit of grinding on this game uh, to make sure I have enough stuff for repairs and stuff pretty much all the time. Like, this is one of the series that I keep going because I do play it um, on stream once a week. So I do a lot of maintenance for this one. I do need to make more medical brews, actually. Uh, this is not an event room. This is... Also, not so much poison. Bones. Okay, so this is an event room. Um, I believe this is an aloe room. No <laughs> Ingram's foot soldier, impossible. Uh, actually, Ellen. I don't think it's impossible. I mean, it's not ideal, obviously, because you can't build a greenhouse and the greenhouse is like super handy. But I don't think that's an impossible thing to do. Ow. Ah. I like it when my shots count, thank you very much. Hey. 
Excellent. At least these guys aren't mate boosted. They're all the same. Okay, we're hungry. Ah. All right, threat's been cleared. Thirsty. Okay. Much better, much better. I also help a little with the health. Um, all right, so threat was cleared. Not too bad. Over this way, we've got some loot crates. No, oh, just this one. All right. And yet another water room. This dungeon is littered with the water rooms. I like it. Nirvana tonic. Eh. Those are all right. You love playing Arkham watching my live stream. Very relaxing. I'm gr I'm really glad you enjoy it. Uh, wall trap in this location guarding these three loot crates. One of which is the featured loot. FYI. One. Single tap. All right. Do I like it? Because they are very, very fun to ride. Bo, hello, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day, Bo. Do, do, do. Oh, here's the real challenge, Ellen. Um, brutal difficulty, hardcore, no Ingrams, foot soldier living underwater. Impossible. Impossible, but I like the idea. I'm curious now. Uh, please show my weapon and armor stats. Uh, okay. So, I forgot what I even got from the loot. Ah, a tech chest piece. Garbage. Um, okay, so, my armor, um, are these Ascendant Flak helmets. My, the one I'm wearing is garbage, but the others are all 986 armor. Um, my riot chest piece has really high dura, which is why I wear it a lot. But the armor on the flax is very similar. Legs, 832. They're probably the worst piece I have. Boots are 1,026. And gauntlets are 1,146. They're very good gauntlets. Weapon-wise, we're looking at the Ascendant Pump Action Shotgun. 236 damage, 3,028 dura. This thing is amazing on a medium difficulty game. My sword is only 382 damage, 308 dura. My pike is only 326 damage, 325 dura. So they're not that great. Um, I do also carry around frying pans with me. And my compound bow is an 809 damage. And my ascendant assault rifle is a 175 damage. So not bad. The compound bow I keep on me at all times because uh, you never know when you're going to get the jellyfish boss. And... uh. Yeah. Compound bow is definitely the way on the jellyfish boss. All right. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, so we're almost at the end of the dungeon here. I'm going to throw up a save because I know myself. And this, I've done the whole dungeon I've done like the whole dungeon and I know that these jumps are where I just do stupid things like walk off the edge. So we're just not going to do that. <laughs> I think it's a tannery. You can get a couple of scuba gear. What's that? Yes, but I consider that to be cheating in a challenge mode because um, 
the premium items are really, really great. Don't get me wrong. I love them. The chef station is like my favorite thing. I always have one. But in a challenge mode, it defeats the purpose to just buy the thing instead of um, having to find it or earn it, right? Like if you're doing a no Ingrams or whatever, uh, I think that should also include the crafting stations because they are a direct workaround that are too easy. Mm. Okay. I made it. I saw myself almost not make it, and then I made it. Ooh. All right, so this is the last event room. Uh, should be Mesopithecus, which I hate very much. I hate Mesopithecus. How did I touch the poison mat? I was hugging the wall. Game, I have a little problem with your hitboxes. Bad monkey. Gotta watch my torpor. Really gotta watch my torpor. You suck. Quit hitting me. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh boy, I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough stimulants for this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, something else. We're gonna try a different tactic. Okay. It's freezing, but it's worth it. Here we go, here we go. Go away! Too close! I hate when they run up to me. Monkey! They're so annoying. Oh my gosh, they're on top of me. I don't like it. I saw that. I saw you reaching for it. Ow. Alright, now we're hungry too. Great, great. I don't like the cold. Where's the other one? Ah, oh, he's over there. is not good. I don't have time to eat. Nope. Ah. This might actually be the hardest room in the whole dungeon. Which I would totally use swords if I just had a better um if I had more stimulants on me. I wasn't thinking about it. Where are you? All right, threats cleared. Ooh. Hate Mesopithecus. I do not like those monkeys. No part of me is okay with those monkeys. All righty, well, where am I even? Oh my goodness. Yes, okay. So, two loot crates, uh, one here. This should be the tech building piece. Boop, yep. Um, I have a pan, just knock him out. Do monkey- are monkeys affected by the pan? Because not every creature is. 
if that's the case, every uh, music with this room just got a lot easier. And that was a premium with a toy jump rope in it. I like that. At least it's a good reward. Uh, how did I get so much amber? I have a primal pass, and I've been playing this uh, particular game for years. This is the first um, single-player game that I had going after the game released, and I have kept it as my dungeon game. So I've been playing this particular game for four years. That's how I have that much amber. It's not even that much amber. Um, I just collect it because I have everything I need, so I don't spend it. <laughs> I have everything I want. Uh, okay. I'm good there. Good there. Fine with it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw up a save. Wait, weekly pursuit. I can do it. Weekly dungeon. We'll start that, then we'll throw up a save. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pan works on the monkeys. Might might do that. Because that would make things... Ooh, that makes life a lot easier. Because I hate the monkeys. I will 100% use the pan on the monkeys. That actually gives me an idea. Let's go. It should be the Dodic boss, guys. One of the easiest bosses, one of my favorite bosses. Hey, buddy. Oh, I ran into him. I didn't expect him to roll off to the side. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay. I like to stay on his left. I mean, okay. Come on, if you're gonna roll, roll. Good job. I'm sad that all the floor textures are gone in this. I love the boss floor textures. Some of them are really cool. Why did I put that away instead of reloading? Oh. <sighs> you love the environment for this boss? I love a lot of the bosses. I think they're really, really well done. That was a good headshot, and I ruined it by running out of bullets. Just gonna run away. Like, like a coward. Like a little coward. Ooh, right in the head. Why? I'm like holding my hand a little too close to my hot bar, I think. Do, do, do. Do. All right. Ah. <sighs> Is the Primal Pass worth buying? You don't lose your buy stuff in games. What's heck? I really do use the Primal Pass because this loot drop is redeemable on every single character you have, on every single server you have. So its value is kind of multiplied. Um, it pays for itself in like almost the amber alone one, especially if you get the yearly one instead of the monthly one. It's a good deal. 
You also get like really, really good items for it. Um, and then I believe it also unlocks a couple of other Ingrams that are good. It used to also remove ads from the game, but then they did that themselves. So for me, I really like the Primal Pass. It also supports the devs, which is huge. And, you know, they made a good game. I spend enough time in this game that I think it's more than fair that I uh, that I spend a little bit back on it. Especially since uh, I do stream this game, so it kind of... It's kind of a thing. Oh. I forgot about the 100 black pearls. Well, that's going to take me some time to sort out. I can't move, but... Uh, not too bad, guys. Uh, pretty easy, pretty easy dungeon. So, I think it's a worth it one. Uh, there is one wall trap and one swamp jump trap that are required. Everything else is pretty optional. Um, so good luck with that, guys. Hopefully you do well on it. Um, Ellen thinks you're, it's worth it. Yeah, I also think it's worth it. The Primal Pass is one of the few, like, game items that I think is actually a good value, you know? Yeah, Ellen, I'm probably going to drop the pearls in the vase. See if I can reach it. Bo, thank you so much for this super chat. We'll see you later. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out. Super appreciate it. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the iguana.